Hey guys, what's up? Neil Walter here. Got another pedal review for you. Brand new from Moore for the Twin Series. It is the Moore Shimverb Pro, which is the next generation of the Shimverb pedal, the micro pedal, the really tiny one. And it's got a bunch of added features that really makes this an awesome pedal and gives it a lot of flexibility uh, with the shimmer and the reverb sounds. And uh, it's got a preset mode in it too, which is awesome. So if you find a sound you really like, you can save it as a preset and recall it anytime you want. Um, it's the uh, same size as two micro more pedals put together. Exactly the same size, actually. If you put two together like this, that's the same size. One thing I think thought was really cool when I got this thing is uh, they created a formed Velcro piece that goes on the bottom of the pedal so that um, it's all ready to put on your pedal board. I thought that was a nice little touch. But let me show you some of the features that this thing has and uh, play some of the sounds on it. Looking at the pedal, you have the button on the right, which is your reverb pedal. It turns the reverb on and off, and you have a separate shimmer, shimmer pedal here on the left that controls the shimmer function. Now some of you may be thinking about that. What about that fifth interval thing on the micro shimverb? I'm going to tell you about that in a little bit. They got a great upgrade to that function on this pedal. So on the right knob you have um, your different reverb settings, five different settings, room, hall, church, plate, and spring. This is um, the trail effect so that you can control when you switch the reverb off if it trails or if it just stops. So it's either true bypass or buffered bypass which is a nice little feature. This new octave button adds a full octave above the note you're playing, which is really cool. And then the shimmer effect has, you know, on the old pedal it was just, um, you know, on or off. And, but this has um, different semitones, three, four, five, seven, and nine. So that gives you a minor third, major third, a fourth, a fifth, and a sixth. So it gives you a lot more control over the note that's coming out afterwards. Up here we have low cut and high cut, which uh, that cuts the reverb sound that you get afterwards. So you can really adjust um, the intensity of the reverb and whether it's kind of light or whether it's full sounding just like the original signal, which I like. It's really cool. Pre-delay tells you when the reverb uh, you can get like a, if you turn it up, you get like a slap back kind of sound all the way down. Gets you immediate, the immediate reverb response. And then you have the decay, which shows how long, uh, how long the reverb lasts after you strike it. And then you have a separate wet and dry mix signal, which is cool. Gives you more control over your original sound coming through or the reverb sound. So I'll go through some of the sounds. Let's start with some basic sounds right here. First off, the uh, room reverb. Basic room reverb hall for a little more depth. Church, nice and big. and spring nice. I'm going to add the shimmer effect and I like to back off the low cut and high cut high cut because it gives it a little more a little more fullness on the reverb part. Um, that's what the with the semitones off. Here's a three half tones, half steps. 
four. Be a major third. Personally, I think it sounds better for uh, lead notes with the with the overtones. Go up one more. And add the octave, one octave above. Okay. And what's cool now, I mentioned about that fifth that was in the, the micro shim verb, and you couldn't turn it off. So when you play chords, it, sometimes it would get in the way, depending on what you're after. So what's cool is now you can have the shimmer effect with just the octave, a full octave above. The preset's really easy to use. All you gotta do is hold down the two buttons for three seconds to save whatever preset, whatever setting you have that you wanna keep. You hold it down until that light blinks. That's the preset light. Two, three, it's blinking. So now that setting saved. So now I can change, let's say I wanna do a little rhythm and I don't want the shimmer effect, just a little. But I want to do some leads with uh, some of the shimmer effect here and with the octave, which is which is what I saved in the preset. Then you just press both buttons down. And you got that setting for lead or, or however else you want to use it. And then you just push them both and it's back off again. I saw one comment on YouTube on one of the reviews. Uh, the guy was asking, can you turn the semitones off and keep the octave? And the answer is yes, which is really cool. So you can turn the shimmer off, you can turn the semitones off, but you can keep the octave button on, which is awesome. It's a great little pedal. Its street price is 168 bucks. You can get one at Osiamo.com. And um, they're available right now. They're hot off the press. So check it out at Osiamo. You can pick yours up. And um, everything that you were missing in the micro pedal, you can get it in this pedal. Here's a quick demo of um, the True Bypass. So if you leave it on buffered bypass, then you hear the trailing reverb afterwards. But you leave it on true bypass and turns off right after. Awesome little pedal. It's also got stereo inputs, um, input and output in stereo on the back. So it's really flexible depending on your rig. If you've got a stereo rig, this will fit right into it well. So it's awesome, well-built, compact little pedal, available at osiamo.com forward slash moor. Thanks for watching.